exploring other graphs of parametric equations. The real power of parametric equations comes when you realize that you can draw some things using these types of equations that you really couldn't obtain using standard rectangular questions. So let's take a look at some using the TI-84. We'll use 0 to 2 pi for our t values and a negative 8 to 8 for the x min and max and the y min and max. We'll start with 4 cosine t minus cosine 4t for the x and 4 sine t minus sine 4t for the y. Let's see, I want to check my mode. I am in radian mode and parametric mode, so I'm all set. And then for my equations, let's put in what we want. So I've put in my two parametric equations. For the window, we had wanted 0 to 2 pi. And counting by something like 0 0.1 is a good idea. And then for the x, mins, and maxes, we had wanted to go negative 8 to 8. And I think tick marks every one unit sounds good to me. OK, and let's see what happens. So I get kind of a cloud shape. Again, you can see the power here for designing graphics. This is something that would be very, very challenging to do with some standard x, y equations. We put in one set of parametric equations and got this very interesting shape. The second example we want to look at, x equals 4 sine 4t and y equals 3 sine 5t. So I'll go back to my equation area and put in those new parametric equations. And I don't think I need to adjust the window. We already had told the calculator to go from 0 to 2 pi for t and negative 8 to 8 in the x and y direction. So let's see what we get for our picture this time. Wow, uh, this is quite a complex drawing. Again, just coming from one pair of parametric equations. And obviously, as you change the values in these equations, different things are going to happen. What if I put a 6 here instead of a 3? If I return to the graph, now my shape has changed a little bit. I can get all sorts of different shapes and pictures by playing around with the specific values in the equations. I encourage you to do some investigating on your own. When you're done, just don't forget to switch yourself back to function mode so that your calculator works in the way that you normally expect. Thanks for watching.